Good morning students. My name is Ruya Chandok and I am your social studies teacher and from today I will be taking your socials classes. Mm -hmm. So today we will study chapter 5 of our book that is Our States. In this chapter we will study about government, types of government, central government, state government and union territories. First of all, let us see what is government. Dear children, just as our parents look after our needs at home, similarly, the government look after the needs, welfare and safety of the people of the country. The government frames laws or rules to run the country. It is the government which decides where to build schools, roads, hospitals, parks, stadiums and airports. The government also provides services like electricity, water, telephones and communications. In India, there are two types of government that is the central government and the state government. Central government. The central government look after the safety and welfare of the whole country. It is based in New Delhi, the capital of India. We, the people of India, choose the members of central government. The president, prime minister and other minister form the central government. They live and work in New Delhi. The states and union territories of India. India is a very big country with a population of more than 100 crore. It is difficult for central government to look after the needs of such a big population all by itself. The country is therefore divided into smaller parts called states. Each state has its own government which look after the welfare of the people. There are 28 states in our country as Jammu and Kashmir is converted to Union Territory in the year 2019. In a state there is a governor, chief minister, other ministers and senior government officers who together run the government. The governor and the chief minister live in the state capital. Beside the states there are smaller areas directly under Central Government. They are known as Union Territories. Among the Union Territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Island are the biggest and Lakshadweep the smallest. Delhi is a Union Territory with the status of National Capital Territory. Now we know that India has a population of more than 100 crores. The Central Government looks after the whole country. India has 28 states and 8 union territories. Each state has its own government which looks after the welfare of the people of that state. Delhi is known as a national capital territory. Dear children, I hope that you understood the chapter well. After this, we will learn the different states and union territories of India and their capital cities. Till then, have a good day. Happy learning.